The name of the book is Invisible Killers. You know, it's not about pollution that you can see. It's not about toxic spills that you hear about because a train, one of the cars overturned, or a truck overturned and had a spill on the freeway and they closed it down. Um, it's not about that. It's about the stuff that happens every day. <clears throat> if I were to start with a talk about detoxification and why it's so important, you wouldn't really buy it. So I hope that by spending some time with you here, I can at least achieve a couple of things. Number one is to have you understand that these kinds of exposures are exposures that every single one of us has on a daily basis. Number two, that it's been going on for decades, decades. Number three, some of the trends in illnesses that doctors stand up at conventions and talk about. We all talk about them, right? We all talk about the increasing rate of this cancer or the increasing rate of infertility and so on and so on as if they were mistakes. I hope when you leave here today you understand it's not a mistake. It's happening, it's predictable, and just as if I drop this microphone, it's going to go down. We're, we're on the other side of the globe from where I am. I figured gravity still works here, right? Okay, so if I drop the microphone, it won't go up, yeah. right? As sure as gravity, this continues until we do something about it. The reason for the book is to get people informed. Following the book, we are working on a documentary film because I believe that once you leave here today, you'll want to tell other people about this and the words may escape you. And I don't know how many people really sit down and read books all the time. I like to think that people do read it. This book was put together so that you could flip to any section and start reading and get some information. Uh, it's not a mystery thriller.